enjoying, I mean, really enjoying getting to do this caliber of race in my hometown or home county. And, you know, to get to sleep at home and then get up and see the sunrise over the Boulder Reservoir, which is just never, never fails to um, sort of fill, fill my heart. Tomorrow I feel really good. I just started doing some longer rides the last few weeks in preparation for Kona. It's kind of my block I started. Um, with a little rest this week, but um, body's running great, feeling good, and uh, gosh, I'm just excited to get out there. I love this course, and I love the run especially. I love the lack of shade, <laughs> and I love just pushing myself, so I'm excited. Tell me what your plan is tomorrow, man. I'm winning this entire race. I feel ready. I feel confident. I put in the work. I have no excuse not to win. Have you checked the start line to see if there's anyone that traditionally beat you is here? Uh, Caitlin Standifer. Where are you from? Here, uh, Boulder, Colorado. Originally from Texas, but here for a while. So you live here, but you're not from here. Not from, most people aren't from here. Those, those are unicorns. Why are you on team on pace? Gosh, I mean, you know, most teams, like I've, Mostly, a lot of times I've kind of flown solo, I've been on some teams, but for me it, it's about the people that are on the team and it's about the community that the team has. Um, it's a lot of like amazing, badass individuals that, um, you know, they all have lives, they all, you know, they work, they have kids, they have family, they, they are doing everything, they're doing a ton of things and they're still just like kicking ass between everything that they do. So you manage a very successful bike shop in town, Colorado Multisport. Yep. I've seen a lot of age groupers come in, stressed out. Always. What's your advice to them? Uh, have fun, you know? Like, you know, for me, it's like, I always try to tell people, like, when they're getting stressed out and they're right before a big race, like, you got in triathlon, got into triathlon in the first place for a reason, and you just have to remember your why. Um, you have to remember your why, like, why did you get into triathlon in the first place? Like, why did, you know, why did you decide, like, I want to sign up for a 70.3? Like, you have to, you have to remember your why. And I, I try to drive that home for everybody. Like, and I try to remember that for myself all the time because it's not, it's not an easy thing to remember. <laughs> Um, but I did count Eric and this is my 201st triathlon ever today. <laughs> A few screws loose in the head, I'm a psycho Promise you the part, this is real as the bite though Misunderstood, you could call me a typo I shine hotter than the stars in the night though Hate the who's who's, don't give me a tight though Flip it in that set, so I don't worry the price though Got scratched like my no, leave it to the tribo ah, I ain't even trying to try though I can do this with my eyes closed Never got nothing on my goals My girl ain't plastic, she don't even recycle All these kids just wanna be This is like the worst thing to take a video of you ready to cheer on mom? Ready to cheer mama. Freaking freaks. Go mama, yeah. Too close, I might just go. Tony, 
Okay, so what? Good. Third overall, I'll hey, take you know, it. One step closer. Yeah, I'll take it though because the guy who won, he definitely peaked too early. He's gonna suck in St. George in a month, so I'm just timing my uh, build perfectly so I peak at the right time in St. George. Did you feel like you were passing a baton to him or what? I don't know. I'm. Yeah. No, no, even though he's a different age group, I always am racing everybody. So right at the turn, Tim passed me again, just cruised downhill. But it was a good battle. It was a good time. I would have not wanted any other with any other person to pass me. So it all worked. Oh, oh, no, we got two more. See, we bonded out there. <laughs> Reminding myself, probably several times in each thing: the swim, the bike, and the run that it was really fun and that I was there because I really loved doing this and looking around at the people that I was doing it with. Um, usually at this race you can look around and say the scenery is just spectacular, but the smoke kind of did a number on the scenery today. I mean, I didn't give up. And it was kind of like, this is my house. I'm going after you. <laughs>